Hello students, today we are going to do a very interesting and a humorous story by Guy de Mopasa. The name of the story is The Umbrella. Let me first start with giving you an introduction about the writer. One of the greatest short story writer of the world, Mopasa was a disciple of great writers and moved in the circle of men like Turgenev, Zola, Duder and others. He belonged to a middle class family of France and his satires deal with the middle class values and conventions with the woes of the heart and other problems. The character have been drawn from his own experience of different stratas of society. There is directness, simplicity and clarity in all his writings. He does not try to dig a moral but portrays life vividly, realistically, objectively and precisely. The Umbrella deals with Madame, Madame Orel, who was a frugal soul. She was a neat, wrinkled woman of 40 with an uncertain temper. It was difficult for Monazir, her husband, to squeeze pocket money from her and her maid found it very hard to feather her nest. The income was good. There was money, but she always said, quote, it is better to be on the safe side. One never knows what may happen. Unquote. Her husband usually fretted at her economy and there were several instances which hurt his self-respect. He had held the post of a head clerk at the war office which was kept to please his wife's increasing uh, greed and their already voluminous revenues. At the office his brother clerks made fun of him and of his umbrella and at last he could not stand it any longer. Therefore, he asked his wife to get a new umbrella. She spent 18 francs and purchased an umbrella used for advertising purpose. It was found in thousands scattered all over Paris. The clerks made fun of him and at last, and it lasted only three months. He was again the object of ridicule of the entire ministry. He now ordered his wife to purchase a silk umbrella. A new umbrella is purchased. In the evening, at his return, Umbrella is examined by his wife and she notices a hole in it. She flies at him in great anger and he had no idea of it and he failed to give any explanation. This was followed by one of those scenes of wedded life which to a man of peace under the domestic life is more formidable than a battlefield under a hail of bullets. This hole was patched up. In the evening when he returns, his wife snatched the umbrella from his hand and was horrified to find that the thing riddled with tiny holes. The umbrella was in ruins. He looked at it in horror and she threw it right onto his face. She called him a wretched, told him that he won't get another. A fresh scene was enacted and after an hour, he getting a chance to explain said that he had no idea of how it was in that condition. A guest comes at that time and for dinner and he suggests to get it recovered. But that would cost 8 francs and the total would be 26 francs for an umbrella. The guest then suggests Monazir to go in for a claim to the insurance company. Now, Madame Orel wanted her husband to go to the company but he flatly refused and went to the office without an umbrella. The lady went to the fire insurance company herself and in difficulty reached the office. At first, she is unable to decide what to do, but with courage, she says that she wanted the cost of the recovering of the umbrella. The manager is surprised and finally tells her to collect the repair expenses from the cashier. This is how she had a way. It was a small sum for which she had to tell a number of lies and they were these lies were transparent. The story centers around the fact that miserly people like Madame Orel become the object of ridicule, but they are happy with small satisfactions. Thus one may conclude after reading the story that the style of the author is effectful and forceful. The story is plain and simple but interesting and amusing. The language is marked with great intellectual depth combined with vitality. These virtues are clearly reflected in all his writings. We find union of gravity, clarity and generalitic gusto 
in all the works of Gaidi Mopasa. Thank you.